Hello everybody, welcome to Monday Night Claw, the last one before WrestleMania. I'm Jimmy Ventura, in the booth with me is Rick Schiavone. Hello. Hello Jim, I can't believe we are here on the final step of the road. The final pieces to be put in the puzzle. The keystone to be dropped in place before WrestleMania, baby. Woo! Absolutely glorious. And we're going to open with the champion, the EAB champ himself, Rick Reckless, coming out of the ring. What's he going to have to say for himself? No idea. He's been he's been mysterious, hasn't he, lately? He's been a bit of a bit of a naughty boy, you might say, recently. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I just feel he does what he has to do to to be the champion like it's it's super hard right it's super hard to become the champion it's even harder to stay the champion many of uh well not you know only a few have ever gained it and very very few have ever had a proper run with it and uh and, uh, but rick has uh worked out what it takes and and he gets that done and some people like it and and some people don't and i guess i understand that you know yep <laughs> right let's go to ringside Less of the uh, less of the fans responding to him. Than normal there. Yeah. Ooh yeah! Here we are, baby. Just one week away from WrestleMania, but I'm calling out you, Jim's McMahon. Because you've made the biggest mistake of your career. Letting Goliath Games main event, WrestleMania. There's going to be so few buys of the tickets. So few buys of the pay-per-view. Because you know that I'm going to defend it so easily. Quad Skulls have got my back, Jack. There's nothing to see. And effectively, no main event. I want you out here, chimps. I want a word with you face to face. I'm sick of your disgusting actions and your terrible decisions. Well, <laughs> is Jim's going to come out? We'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> Or at least get up there on the damn Titantron. Oh, here he is. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. God damn it, Rick! You've got some nerve coming out here, calling me out this, like this. Who the hell do you think you are? I'm sick of your bullshit. And you think your quad skulls are going to be a help? Well, they ain't. Because Elliot's in his hand and brain match. You've got Jack Bull and Space Cadet taking on Fimir and Skuro. They won't be there to help you, sunshine. Well, we'll see about that. They can always perform double duty. But what's more, you know what? I love those guys, but I don't need them to beat Goliath Games, Jims. You've seen it once already at Hamageddon. We had the perfect strategy laid out by the genius Space Cadet. And I followed it to the letter, and I got the count-out victory in minutes. And that ruined Hamageddon, and it's going to ruin WrestleMania again. And that's all your fault. That's a good point, but you're a bit of an idiot just saying that right now. Because I've got all the power, and I'm telling you that the main event of WrestleMania Night 2 will be you versus Goliath in Hell in a Cell. No! No, what the... You dirty scumbag! You don't know what it's like in between the ropes, living this day-to-day, -day, fighting for your life, fighting for your championship. 
You've never even been in the ring. You've never had a match. Oh, you are, you, oh, you freaking take the cake, man. Well, I'm still going to win. It's still going to be a crappy main event, a crappy WrestleMania, and I'm going to be the champion for another year. Well, I tell you what, there's another son of a bitch running his mouth making demands, and it's Night Demon. He says that we're trying to bury him. Well, guess what? I'm going to bury him at Mania. We're going one-on-one. -on -one. Last man standing match in the first match of WrestleMania. So there you go. What you think about that, Rick? Well, I'll give you this. You got more balls than I thought you had, but thankfully less brains. So thank goodness this is the last week I'm ever going to have to put up with your ugly mug before Night Demon sends you six feet down under. And you know what else takes my craw? There's flipping no representation in this stupid wrestling organization. Where the hell are the women's matches, Jim? Well, that doesn't surprise me, you're a little SJW. Mrs. Wanger hasn't stopped demanding a match. Oh my god, what's happening now? How dare you? Ah, ah! Flip you, Jim! <laughs> oh my god. It's just kicking off. It's kicking off. Oh, oh, oh man. Jim McMahon has, has got a match in a week's time, apparently less than a week, and, and he's getting beaten up by the EAB champion. No! Oh god, this is ridiculous. Look how look how old Jims is. He can't take this. Oh. He, he really can't, but he also surely can't take Night Demon. I, I can't believe what we're seeing. Oh my god. And yeah, Jims is going one on one with Night Demon in WrestleMania. Whew. He was he was wow. trying to tell us something about Mrs. Wagner, but he, he didn't really get that out. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah. Well, uh, I tell you what, Jim. We'll we'll try and find out some uh, some backstage reports uh, about that later for everybody. We're we're just gonna have to hold on on that one for now. Jim Swope man getting the better of Rick. What is going on here? Oh, howdy. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, maybe he is ready for Night Demon, Jim. <laughs> wow. Oh, Jim is in. Jim's is incensed here. And then it just ends. <laughs> well, there you go. That's uh, and and oh right. Oh sorry. Oh oh god. Oh wow. We're just hearing that the next match here, it's gonna be six feet down under versus quad skulls. It looks like Mr. Jim McMahon is trying to kill two birds with one stone with this matchup. Boy, howdy. Wow. He he said he'd keep quad skulls busy so they couldn't interfere in the main event. To be honest, they'd struggle to interfere in Hell in a Cell anyway. And uh, yeah, they got their hands full at Mania. And they, that's if they even make it after facing six feet down under tonight. Oof. Oh boy, what a match. And I mean, this is... Okay, you'd imagine it's not really going to take a toll on Night Demon. But yeah, it's, <laughs> at least it's softening him up a little bit, maybe. You know, wearing out his arms, punching Elliot. <laughs> maybe that's... Maybe that's Jim's <laughs> <Jim's> strategy. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, the uh, the decay could certainly kick in, couldn't it? Trying to take uh, Elliot down, he's, he's like a flipping jack-in-the-box. <laughs> he sure is. Oh, dear. Well, yes, I mean, they're no joke, are they, Cod Skulls? They, they've won all the matches the other night, I remember, very recently. Just an unbelievable, outstanding night. They're on a roll. They've had their issues as tag team, haven't they? Six feet down under, so I don't think this is a gimme at all. I think this will be will be tricky for both sides. Yeah, the classic uh, greater than the sum of the parts equation here. Um, six feet down under, never that strong in the tag team division, although Gengar very good, to be fair, and they do have him in this, of course. Um, whereas Quad Skulls, yeah, maybe one-on-one -on -one would struggle against six feet down under, but they, they do well as a team. They had that massive, massive victory at Survivor Series as well, of course. Yeah, 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 that's very true. An amazing, an amazing tag team combination. Let's uh, let's go to ringside while I get a beer. <laughs> oh dear, it's a default entrance now. Oh, oh dear, <laughs> oh dear, oh this is terrible. <laughs> Normally intimidating six feet down under, just chillaxing to the max tonight. <laughs> oh dear.
Not too surprised to see the fans cheering for them, though, on this occasion, because uh, Quad Skulls lost a lot of their popularity in the last few weeks. Here's another thing about the Quad Skulls, though they are masters. They are well versed in taking on the undead. Many, many months now of Back for Blood has prepared them beautifully for this particular matchup. Well, actually, I, I think the uh, the order of play, Tony, is that Elliot takes all the punches, Space comes in to make the pin, and then Jack will celebrate like it was all him. Oh dear, poor Elliot having to start off. What a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Phil, more sorry for him than ever against six feet down under, though. Look at the speed of him here, oh. getting around the back of Night oh. Demon. Oh. A lovely takedown. Oh, but then Night Demon reverses oh. himself. Oh, I think he's... Oh, there we go. The takedown of his own into side headlock. Beautiful technical wrestling here, Jim. Yeah, you don't see that often in the JFW tier, but when you do, it's <laughs> often Elliot. Oh, and here he is with the uh, the head scissors. Oh. oh no, but DDT! Oh no, suplex! Suplex by Night Demon on Elliot. And suddenly, Elliot in a bit of trouble. Nobody dodges the kick. Really, really good going by Elliot so far. Yeah. Is he is he making a mistake, though, breaking from the normal strategy of wearing out his opponent? <laughs> it's a good point. He really does love the, the face to fist technique. Or oh, cheap oh, shot from Space Cadet! Space Cadet with a sneaky punch <laughs> from behind on Night Demon, stunning him. Night Demon recovers to whip Elliot into the six feet down under corner, and this is going to be the first tag. No! Elbow from Elliot. Beautiful. Now this might be the first tag. Oh, flying forearm absolutely destroys Night Demon. Man, Juice Man might be onto something here. Night Demon getting even more softened up against the Quad Skulls than he was against Rick. Yeah, unbelievable. Oh, he's just going back. He's going to tag in Pepper Biscuit? Nope, nope, nope. He's just going to walk around. <laughs> Stalking his prey, Jim. Stalking his prey. We don't know. We can't begin to understand the evil that goes through the minds of those three wrestlers. Yep. And six feet down under. <laughs> <laughs> Way. Way. All right. First tag finally by the Quad Skulls. Jack Bull in. I did been really struggling here, Jim. Yeah, he is. Oh, there we go. Dodges the flying forearm. Catches Jack Bull in a grapple and going to take him over finally to make the tag that he so desperately needs. Snapmare takedown. Kick to the back. Going for that tag. Oh, but Jack Bull <laughs> pops up. Jack Bull oh. cutting it off. Oh, wow. And the Irish whip. Oh, no, it's it this time. There was no dodging that one. <laughs> and there he is. The patented Jack Bull early celebration. <laughs> He does bring celebration to quad schools. That's what he contributes mostly, isn't it? <laughs> Shades <laughs> of John Terry. <laughs> we, we all need a little celebration. The rest of the quad schools a little too serious at times, particularly that Rick. Oh, oh Gengar! Oh, my word! Oh, oh my God. word! Scoops him up as if he weighed about a feather. Unbelievable. Oh, but Jack Bull fighting back. He's, he's never overawed, is he, Jack Ball? He's never too scared, no matter what situation he's in. He is always confident. Credit to him. Oh, nice oh. dodge down. Off the apron by Gengar, and it's going to the outside. And Jack Ball's going to eat concrete. No. Oh. oh! From so high. Oh How many God. feet of concrete tonight? Oh, you're not going to believe this, Rick. 47 feet of concrete. Oh, oh no, Jack Ball! <laughs> oh, and again! Oh! <laughs> 
Oh, Jamal's in so much trouble. That's a nice kick, though, to the gut. I think to most people that would have been a kick to the face, but on Gengar, it was a kick to the gut. <laughs> yeah. Gengar is big. Whips him back in, although, and this is really nice from Jackball, but the damage has been done. I want to see Jackball make a tag here. He's a little bit prone to uh, staying in the ring longer than he should. Well, he's he going to try and submit him, Jim. Oh, man, this is, this is optimistic. The decaying limbs of Gengar, you never know. No, okay, you're right, it was optimistic. <laughs> Gengar powering out quite comfortably. <laughs> now going for the tag. No, oh, oh no. God. Somehow Jabal was desperately trying to make the tag there, got cut off, but look at this. Reversal by Jabal after almost being decapitated. Oh. oh, but he doesn't have the strength to get Gengar up, not surprisingly. And <laughs> Gengar with a huge suplex. Jabal in trouble again, so desperately needs to tag. Yeah, Jack Bully, do, he does suffer from the not tagging out. Uh, as you say, it's like he just wants people, everyone to do their tasks, doesn't he? That's the thing. <laughs> he does. He really does. Oh, oh and again, God. Gengar, really smart. Oh, but Elliot's Rowdy. going after him. Rowdy. Elliot, Rowdy. Elliot. Oh. Take it out. Gengar's got the League of Unreal. Oh, man. Rowdy as. <laughs> Holy smoke. Almost as if he's the kind of man that would snipe someone at three in the morning when they were playing Ogres. <laughs> Oh, JV, it wasn't on the card. No, this was made by Mr. Jimmy McMahon after after getting viciously attacked by Rick Reckless at the start of the at the start of the night. Unbelievable. Credit to Jims though. He uh, held his own. Couldn't <laughs> believe what I was seeing. He's he's obviously been in training. Yeah, he's oh god, he's had to. Oh, here we go. I'm out of a oh, timeout. Oh, Jim, I think this might be GG though. I think we're uh, on for a double count out here. It could be. We're on eight. Up to eight. <laughs> We're up to nine. Oh, Jack was in. Oh, yes, the quad skulls, the space cadet strategy. Oh. They've got it again, Jim, just like they're going to do at WrestleMania. God. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how you beat these kind of guys. But I'll tell you what, that will not be an option for Rick in the main event of WrestleMania. It's going to be Hell in a Cell. There will be no count out. For Rick, you could, that much you can guarantee. Wow, what a great yeah, highlight. Jabal, you executed, you know? It's <laughs> it's one thing to lay out the plan, and that does deserve credit. It's another thing to execute, and that's why the Quad Skulls are such a formidable team. <laughs> wow. They really are like the A-team of JFW. <laughs> yeah, some, something like that. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, there you go. What a what a performance from the quad schools. Oh, amazing. Oh boy. Now we've got two of the absolute greatest Wemdorp champions of all time. What a what a warm up this is for Noalis before WrestleMania. Volk for gore. It certainly is, Jim, and uh, they kind of went at it last week, right? But it was in a triple threat, and they so hard went after each other that they kind of forgot the f third man. So now we're finally getting to see the match that we kind of wanted to watch then. And, uh, and yeah, we're going to have an answer. Who is the greatest Wemdope champion of all time? Yeah, unbelievable. Uh, of course, at WrestleMania, <laughs> Noalis will not be defending against a mystery challenger. It will be the TLC <laughs> Money in Jim's Bank match <laughs> against, <laughs> against Peppered Biscuit and Fault Force. So there you go. Oh, Chunter, Reno, thank you very much for the massive raid. Absolutely glorious. What a raid, Chunter. Thank you. Welcome, Chunter viewers. Uh, if any of you don't know what you've just been let in for, this is the greatest wrestling company in the world, the JFW. And WrestleMania is this weekend coming up, so we've got a massive show tonight, Monday Night Claw. Uh, I'm Rick Schiavone, and uh, many, many of your favorite Blood Bowl superstars in this wrestling away to see who is the greatest. Oh, yeah. We've got the most, the best. I think this is the number one ranked Andorran <laughs> Blood Bowl coach in tabletop. <laughs> so, you pretty know. pretty close, Jim. Yeah, I think he might be, but there's there's obviously many many contenders for that crown. So, uh, <laughs> you know, it's it's forever changing. But yes, at the moment, I do believe it is Volkscore. Yeah, what a what a what a legend. Hotly contested, actually. It's probably one of the hardest countries to be number one ranked in. 
<laughs> not uh, not quite as competitive as the Vatican City, but uh, but there or thereabouts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Surprisingly, it is because you've got to you've got to be rated above store, which is no mean feat, right? <laughs> 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 so yeah pretty amazing oh look here we look we've got the wrestlemania cards here there's two links for night night one and night two it is a it is a mega mega thing over two nights it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be Are amazing you saying, guys <laughs> <laughs> yes. This this man will be facing off against Peppered Biscuit and Full Force in the Money in Jim's Bank match. There's certainly one guarantee, and that's that Jimmy Fantastic is coming out the winner of WrestleMania, regardless of any of the results. Glorious. <laughs> yeah, Volk is a bit like the fifth member of the Quad Schools a little bit, isn't he? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Not a penis joke, but we've established. <laughs> that you've got something severely wrong with you if, you th if your penis looks like the Wem Dorp Championship. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, non title match tonight, and a, and a good job too, because, uh, yeah, really, really tough on this one for Noalius, and he won't want to give too much up before his huge match at Wrestlemania. It doesn't come much tougher than uh, Pepper Biscuit and Fault Force. <laughs> yep. Fault Force, of course, Jim, uh, a relatively recent Wemdo champion, although he didn't hold on to it for too long. He finally, finally won some gold. Uh, unfortunately, losing it, though, um, shortly afterwards. Pepper mm. Biscuit, on the other hand, Famously lacking in gold in the JFW. Could this finally be his day? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. It's, he's long overdue, isn't he? A title reign, I think. It really this is. Could be it. May, maybe the most dominant JFW wrestler never to win the gold. Maybe. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's just <laughs> Falcon Star. <laughs> the Andorran duo. <laughs> 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 oh, I was going to say neck breaker by Volk, but look Ooh. at this from Duvalius. He got off to a slightly rough start, but he's not going to take a loss to Volk lying down. Does not want people saying that Volk Fagor is truly the greatest Wemdope champion ever and not he. Oh, wow. Well, they're up to seven already. He might just yeah, can have another countdown here, Jim. Yeah. Oh, no, he doesn't oh, want to win thank, like that. Thank goodness. Yeah, Noalius has uh, too much honor. To, to win by a cheap count out. He wants to definitively prove that he's better and is a better champion than Volk for Gore. That could be it. Ooh. A little bit early yet against a, a wrestler. Oh no, slightly early celebration though. He recovers oh. with a nice right hand. It was timed beautifully, Look wasn't it? Oh God, suplex city. My goodness, this has been all Noalius now for the last few minutes. <laughs> Volfogor needs to find something to get back into this or his reputation is uh, is going to go down the drain. Oh, oh, two and a half, Jim. Really getting there now. This could be it. Unbelievably dominant victory by oh Noalius. Talk about definitively proving that you're the greatest Wemdope champion of all time. If this finishes it... It's, there's no argument. Oh my god. He's done oh. it! No! Oh. Oh. Oh my How god. did Volkfogor kick out of that? Oh my He's, god. Every little bit of chaos in him, every bit of respect and humanity left that he wanted to prove his greatness over to Alias's. And look at this now. What a comeback he's making. Unbelievable. But he, I tell you what, we haven't seen yet, Jim. We haven't seen the horns. He needs to use the horns. He does, yeah. The, yeah, that's it. Horns to the head. It's his favourite move. It's his finisher. And Noalis has got to... Oh, I think, he, I think he's setting it up. I think he's setting it up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. The horns, oh. baby! Will that be enough? Oh, God, oh, here we goodness. go. This is going to be enough, Jim. Oh my god. 
No, Alice is actually going to lose his first loss. His first loss. Oh, he's Volk so much bigger, isn't he? He's Will huge. this be he's it? Absolutely. He's maybe not wider, but he's so tall. Oh. oh my! Oh my goodness! How? No other wrestler in the JFW could kick out of that. <laughs> Unbelievable! The legs as well. He's so thick, isn't he? He's so thick in the legs. So oh, tall. Oh, he just slapped him in the horns. He is. He, <laughs> the power there is absolutely amazing. But yeah, when you look at the upper bodies, wow, no alias. He's so barrel chested. There's a lot of power in there. Look at this. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> we're we're close. Either man could go out now. It's just yeah. who who can get the big moves in to finish this? And oh. right now it's Noalias. Huge suplex again. Absolutely brutal. <laughs> yes, <Bob. laughs> Oh dear. And yes, yeah, sorry, Tony. I don't know how I missed it, but thank you so much. Of course, unbelievable. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Reminds me a, a bit of uh, Bruno Sammartino in his build. No yeah. obvious, actually, Jim. Yeah, a little bit. He's got a bit of that Seven. going for him. Seven-year straight world champion, eleven-year overall. That no records that nobody will ever break. Yep. But Noalias doesn't hasn't looked like losing the Wemdorp Championship, but it's going to be a huge test, isn't it, at WrestleMania? Oh my God, send out the ropes. Well, yeah, Jim. I, I'd be a bit surprised if he walks out of WrestleMania the champion. I'd be incredibly surprised if he goes seven years. Yeah, <laughs> especially as he's defending the belt every week. <laughs> He's maybe I mean, got as many defense. He might be. He might get as many defenses as Bruno Sammartino. He, he, that's true. That's true, Jim. Maybe that's the way to look at it. <laughs> oh! Oh my word! He might lose. Obviously, he wouldn't lose the belt tonight. But he's starting to get into trouble again here. Volk using the outside to great effect. Oh, oh my word, Jim! Oh my word! Ooh. That might be it. Power bomb. Swinging power bomb from Volkvogor. Oh, oh, he's oh, on the middle second road. road. Oh boy. Oh! <laughs> Just about oh. connected with the hooves. Hooves of doom. The hooves, yeah, it was the, the back of the hooves. I think he's done it, Jim. Oh, oh my goodness me. What's it going to take? Almost killed him twice. I, I can't <laughs> believe that Noalis is still finding ways oh, to kick out, but that's it. That's definitely it now. Yep, that's that is be definitely it, it now. It's Von gotta Fugor, be. To be able to claim that he's the greatest web dog champion of all time, beating the reigning champion. He's done it! <laughs> wow! Wow! Oh, wow! I can't <laughs> believe we've just finally seen Noalis lose, Jim. Yep. But not for the title, unbelievably. It's, oh. <laughs> it's one of the few times the title wasn't on the line the week before Mania. But yeah, that certainly, certainly Noalis looks a bit more vulnerable. Maybe he had one eye on Mania. Maybe he didn't want to go 100%. You know, who knows? But wow. It's amazing that's... how many times we see the champions lose when not defending their titles on a claw before a pay-per-view gym, actually, to be honest. Yep, yep. Very good point. But he was an amazing Wemdope champion, wasn't he, Volkvogor? And it's so nice to see him out here beating the champion one more time. Yep. <laughs> yeah, if those hooves are connected a bit heavier, that might have won it for him earlier. <laughs> yeah. Here is your winner, Big Daddy. Seen John Cena punch his land heavier than that. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> What a what a what a performance! But yeah, I mean, surely he's gonna, you know, Volt's gonna want to do something after that build on this amazing result. And yeah, maybe maybe that will encourage Volt for some peppered biscuits. <laughs> okay, now we don't have Necronome in JFW yet, sadly, but who we do have is his three teammates for UKTC next weekend, and it is Hancock. Dimmy G and Purple Chest.
Oh, baby. What what a team at UKTC. What a matchup for tonight. And uh, Hancock, of course, getting ready for the fight of his life, Jim, at WrestleMania. <laughs> Oh god, yeah. He will be settling with Steve Mutty and Fugonomics. Who exactly is Muppet Pac-Man's dad? <laughs> it's one of those. They, they found all of their DNA in Chimp's car. <laughs> and one of those is definitely Muppet's dad. And of course, the only way to, 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 to ascertain who it actually is, is by violence. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, yeah, that that's how wrestling does it. Much like uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh cartoon settled all scores via card games, uh, <laughs> wrestling settles all questions in life via <laughs> fighting each other. Yeah, it worked. For, it worked for Jeremy Kyle and Jerry Springer. So <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Absolutely. They, uh, they presume Dimmy's on the team, Jim, but uh, he's he's got to turn up to the right place, first of all. <laughs> he's got to paint his team. He still hasn't painted his team. <laughs> <laughs> People have been saying it for four weeks. Paint your flipping team, Dimmy. <laughs> He'll probably be painting on the way down like, like I did once. <laughs> the, first, the first Blood Bowl tournament I ever went to was... Uh, was it, you know, Nottingham Games Workshop? And I went yep. down to Middlesbrough, stayed at my mate's house in Middlesbrough and, and painted my team that night <laughs> before we went there in the morning. <laughs> that was, that's, that's a true blood baller, Jim. <laughs> yep. I wouldn't be surprised if he turns up with an unpainted team. Hancock of course had uh, no such issues, Jim. Um, Reliably told that he did, in fact, steal his uh, already painted bubble team. Yeah, he just found them on, on the, on, you know, just found they, them. They'd fallen there. off the back of a wagon, apparently. Yeah, they were just literally in the middle of the road, and he just pulled over and picked them up, and uh, now he's got a team ready. Yeah, yeah. There you are. he literally just admitted it. He stole an Elvis team. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> My sources are normally full of it. It's nice to hear that they get it right occasionally. <laughs> well, he is a scouser, Rick. <laughs> it was a pretty <laughs> safe bet. <laughs> oh, dear. But yeah, bad news for Hancock with a paternity match because it means he, he would have been in the in the match for the title with Storr and and Chim, but he's not able to, having to having to, you know, take part in this paternity match. Yeah, that's incredible, because he, he just won a triple threat against those two, and uh, yeah, you'd have you'd have thought for the world he could have repeated that. He is, in my opinion, the greatest Plim Pom Pluserweight champion of all time, and uh, I thought we'd get reign number two, but instead, nope, this, uh, this issue has come up that needs to be resolved, it cannot wait, and so Hancock's going to have to wait another day. Um, that's if he if he ever gets another chance because you know sometimes parenthood takes over and makes you busy and uh, you never get to wrestle again. Yeah, very good point. <laughs> oh, that that would be a good that would be a good command, Steve. But I just I just changed the card because I already had the command. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Here we go, it's it's all off. PC is a glorious bastard, yeah. Can't argue with that. He is like the, gr the daddy of the team, isn't he, in a way? <laughs> and uh, a great start by PC. Gets on second attempt, gets the suplex on Dimmy. Hancock typically biding his time, letting them go at it, and then picking his moment, but PC saw it coming. And I don't know how he saw it, Jim, because he can't see anything. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he does suffer in these multi-man matches, doesn't he? Tag teams, multi-mans is not is not PC's forte. He gets bewildered a little bit. <laughs> yeah, he is he is exceptionally good at one-on-ones. Fair play to him. But yes, anything more than that is uh, is a little more than he can handle. Um, <laughs> not uh, not the modern-day wrestler is PC. He likes things the old-fashioned way. Yeah, well, it, that's the thing, isn't it? He's got he's got these enhanced hearing and senses and stuff. But when when there's multiple combatants, he just he just struggles. It's it's quite reasonable. 
It is. It is. That that can't help. Hancock, on the other hand, absolute master of these triple threats. He just seems to find a way to win them time and time again. Yeah, he does really incredible record overall in Hancock. One of the best, as you say, one of the greatest ping pong players, if not the greatest ping pong players of all time. Amazing in tag matches as well. Oh, I'll tell you what I just thought, Jim. It, wouldn't it make sense why Muppet is such a great Plim Plum Bluesaweight champion? If it's because his dad is such a great Plim Plum Bluesaweight oh champion? Oh my god, maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out this weekend. We'll find out this weekend. Boy, howdy. <laughs> that would be oh, amazing. Oh, oh, me. <laughs> that would be amazing if that was his Twitter bio. <laughs> 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 Holy shit. Oh wow, wow. He's busy taunting and get not not getting away with it. Tell you what, though, fair play to, to PC. If I could regularly live my life the way that he uh, blindly fumbles through his, mm. I'd be pretty happy. Mm. Imagine what he was like in his prime. Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> Good day, Cocky. Cocky, of course, will be in, in action for the uh, Tag Team Championship of Mania. Day 2 of Mania, an unbelievable TLC match with three, maybe four tag teams in that one. That is going to be a wild one. Could be it, Jim. Hancock with the pin. Oh. He's done it again. No, Timmy just about kicking out at two. PC hadn't quite recovered. Yeah, I can't wait for that tag team title match, Jim. I still haven't got over the fact that North and South are champions. <laughs> It's been an incredible reign, <laughs> north and south. Who would have believed it? And they beat Dressfoot there six feet down under twice, didn't they? It was unbelievable. Yeah, absolutely amazing. They did win there. Oh, my word, Hancock's knocked them both out. All he's got to do is pin PC. Oh, man. Oh, oh and PC somehow, somehow recovered. Um... Yeah, I, they did win it, didn't they? In a triple threat match where maybe the two opposition took them lightly and it could happen again on Wrestle, at WrestleMania, Jim. Another triple threat yeah, in cool. TLC. How, uh, having said that, Jim, look at this. Chokeslam. <laughs> Somehow, Hancock fights out. <laughs> yeah. The real winner is Dimmy. Dimmy might have this. Oh, my God, he might. Dimmy takes the pin here. Hancock's just been chokeslammed. No, He's got wrong it. man, Dimmy, no, wrong man, Dimmy, no! Dimmy, oh no. <laughs> well, classic, classic Dimmy. Ex-world champion in the JFW, of course. Yeah, incredible. You know, he's, he, he's, he's no joke at all, Dimmy. He is, he is the champ. Forever and always, Dimmy is the champ. Oof. Wow. Hancock uh, pushing it close there, waiting on the outside. Comes back in now, oh my word, blindsides Dimmy. Disgusting behavior. Wow. And he's done it again. Done I don't it. believe it, Jim. He's Every done. single time without fail. <laughs> he's done it. He's unbelievable, isn't he? It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Unbelievable. I tell you what, Chimp and Store are the luckiest men in the JFW, but they're not facing <laughs> this man at WrestleMania. They really are, yeah. They really are. That is... Hancock is something else, isn't he? Maybe the greatest Plim Pong players away of all time. Boy, howdy, what a performance against two much bigger fellas as well. I mean, particularly yep. PC. Beaten, uh, beaten two of the two of the great heavyweights of the JFW here. Yeah. PC many often in the title scene. Dimmy, ex world champion. Yeah, absolutely incredible. The kick out of nowhere. Yeah, the penalty kick. <laughs> More or less. <laughs> Timing beats speed. Precision beats power. Hancock shows us time and time again. There you go. Hello, Throik. Sadly not, no. Um, <laughs> I can't think of anything funny or anything more to go in with that, but no. <laughs> not, on the, not on the card, sadly. It is unfortunate. It's hard to get everybody on the card these days. And, and somebody particularly, uh, you know, struggling with getting on the card lately is... Mrs. Wanger, 
because here we've got this amazing tag team match. We've got the Glorious Ones versus North and South. If the Glorious Ones win, they will be added to the championship match at WrestleMania for the Two Heads Championship. Wow, that would make a great match. Incredible, wouldn't it, for the tag team titles? But yeah, is there any update yet, uh, Jim, on what Jim's was trying to tell us? Because, yeah, Mrs. Wanger either isn't at WrestleMania because the Glorious Ones aren't at WrestleMania if they don't win tonight, or she's not in their corner because you can't be in TLC matches. It's not allowed. So so what's going on with her, Jim? Have you managed to find out yet? Yeah, well, she's absolutely fuming. You know, she's demanding to be on the card. She thinks it's outrageous, the lack of representation in the JFW. She's she is really fuming about this. She she is you know, Jim's is like trying to fob her off, but she really wants a match. She's challenged the rest of the women's division. I mean, obviously she's already sent them all packing. You know, they, no, none of them are a match for her. So she's really hoping that she can that she can you know find somebody to come and give her a fight at WrestleMania. Wow, I hope so. I would love to see it. Uh, she is an absolute phenomenon of the JFW and uh, yeah, it's incredible to see her in action every time she has a match. So fingers crossed, that would truly be a highlight of WrestleMania if she can find anybody. I mean, yeah, you know she might even find Jada Smith to have a fight with. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. What's, what's going on? What's oh. this, Jim? <laughs> Will Smith just slapped the shit out of me. <laughs> oh, oh my, oh my goodness. <laughs> what? I, I don't believe it. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'll, I'll manage. I didn't go down. He doesn't hit very hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you're able to, like, carry on and, you know, see, see the light side of it. Flipping heck, Jim. <laughs> it was pretty extreme, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was only a joke. I know, right? We really overreacted to that one. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, God. Well, there you go. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't know, Jockey. Jockey? Cocky? I don't know why I said Jockey. <laughs> Shame was over the greatest entrance music in the whole of JFW, and probably the greatest entrance in the whole of JFW, but I didn't want to wait until the match was going on. <laughs> I was so excited to get that out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Jimmy Ventura, always excited to get it out. But uh, yeah, we, we don't want to miss uh, a moment of the Glorious Ones in action, of course. Or indeed, the World Tag Team Champions, North and South. <laughs> God. Yeah, okay, got you. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, here's the champs. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> we, we may never come to terms with it. We might as well just go with it and enjoy it. <laughs> North and South are our world tag team champions. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Going into WrestleMania, the JFW show of the year as champions. Can they come out as champions? Surely, surely not. Well, does lightning strike twice? We will find out this weekend. Yeah, I mean, the odds are stacked against them, of course. It's at least a triple threat. It could be an eight-man match. But whatever happens, I'm sure they'll they'll please the crowd with this incredible entrance. Oh wow, Wanger's what Mrs. Wanger, look, she's still protesting. She's getting the crowd riled up there. She she is. She is. She is a, a lady on a mission. She wants to represent at WrestleMania, and that is her right. Fuck the off, greatest Davey. women's wrestler we've probably ever had in the JFW. And you're absolutely right, Jim. Uh, North and South can take their first step towards walking into next Monday Night Floor as the champions post-WrestleMania by winning tonight and making those odds slightly less against them by keeping the Glorious Ones off WrestleMania. Can you imagine a WrestleMania without the Glorious Ones at all, Jim? Oh, God, I can't. It would be a disaster, wouldn't it? I really hope they win tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we are maybe minutes away from that being a reality. 
And uh, it just goes to show, it, it doesn't matter how great you've been in the past, you've got to be able to do it in the here and now, in the JFW, to be relevant. Yeah, that's true. And, you know, at, at the moment, they've got a 33% chance at best at beating the... <laughs> the uh the title and then but then if 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 you add the glorious ones into the mix then the chance of winning drastic go down to like 25 really percent <laughs> <laughs> it, it really really does jim and that calculator was a good investment thanks um, <laughs> i suppose if, if mrs wanger does get a match maybe the glorious ones could be in her corner that's a good point yeah maybe maybe Better when I just dropped 56k on them. Oh my god. Wang is sent pack in there by Ansi somehow. I don't know how that works. With physics, it really was. I think there was some leverage involved with the ropes. It can be a slight disadvantage sometimes being that tall that you can just, uh, like the majority of your weight can go over the top rope right, unlike the smaller wrestlers. Oh my word. Well, he's made up for it there. Broke Huge. Ansi in half on the steps, and Ansi now in desperate need of attack. Jimmy had already done a number on him, but then takes down Wanger in the concrete. The confidence of Ansi since becoming champion is something to behold. Yep, and remember, this isn't just concrete. This is 47 feet tonight. This is just an unbelievable amount of concrete. So these, these hits outside are going to be inflicting so much more damage. Yeah, yeah, maybe Ansi was better off being slammed into the steps. Mm. Um, yeah, I was going to say great start from the Glorious Ones until Wanger was sent flying there. Jimmy had done well and uh, got a nice quick tag in. And it looks like they might be the next ones to get the tag as well. Wanger on top now that they're back in the ring. Oh, my word. Oh, oh nice rollout from Ansi, yeah, though. Very nice. Oh. Oh, my, oh my <laughs> word, Jim. Wow. <laughs> Springboard back elbow from Ansi. And now he's going to tag to Scotty. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> that is that is championship level wrestling right there. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Wanger on top. <laughs> it's where he usually is. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get used to it, he says. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether my screen crawls more when he says it or when Cyanide says it. <laughs> <We're here. laughs> De Scotty getting out of the way. Wanger managing to outpower De Scotty for the most part there. But now with his speed, De Scotty has uh, gained control. Mm -hmm. Wanger could probably do with a tag at this point. He really could, yep. Yeah. Oh, De Scotty with a, with a, a submission. What the hell? A, a varied figure of four. Could the Glorious Ones not be going to WrestleMania? Oh, De Scotty lets it go. It's bizarre, isn't it? It's a bizarre move from De Scotty. You don't expect that. Like, powerhouse really wrestler. Weird. Nice kick from Wang and Here comes Jim. He's had enough, hasn't Great he? Great against Nancy. <laughs> oh, wow. Fighting for the pride of the Northeast here, isn't it? Jimmy versus... I mean, <laughs> obviously, Wang is near the Northeast. He's not quite as northern as Jimmy. <laughs> Battle of the Greg's Enthusiasts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word. He's Scotty with a, a huge punt to the head of Jimmy there. And look at this suplex. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, wow. Knee to the head. Jim Bottom. Jim Bottom. Jim Bottom out of nowhere. Oh, my God. This out could be it. Out of nowhere. It's over. Oof. Oh. I thought the glorious ones are going to WrestleMania for sure then, Jim. Oh, man. I mean, it was... The, to Scott, he hasn't taken a lot of damage, but, I mean, the Jim Bottom, very effective. <laughs> Lethal, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so anybody that's ever followed Jim into a bathroom has told me. <laughs> Way. <Wait. laughs> oh, the lemon oh. drop. The Greg Sausage Roll Drop. Oh, the Package oh, Ball no. Driver. Oh, no. Jim. Oh, no. The Glorious Ones WrestleMania hopes. They're going up in smoke. Oh, no. They're going they up in smoke like the sausage being melt. Wagon's not coming in. He's not even trying. Oh, oh wow. thank God. Classic. Jimmy, the classic Jimmy Fantastic kick out. That's true. Triple H has got nothing on Jimmy Fantastic, to be fair. Oh. The kip up from both of them, incredible. 
Oh, yeah, Jim can't get the to the... Oh, well, he's reversed this. Maybe you can make the tag, get Wanger in. Really nice from Jimmy, just what he needs. Absolutely desperate now. Yep, we all love to see Wanger in the ring. Tosses Ancy off. <laughs> yep. Oh, Here we go for the tag, yes! Oh, yes. Come on, Wanger. Oh! Whoa. What a so big, isn't he, compared to Ancy? Ancy has got to be... A... I don't know. I don't know what his chances are here, Anthony. This looks horrendous for him. It's a ridiculous mismatch, but uh, he did. He did manage to hold his own on the outside, didn't he? I mean, Anthony, no stranger to holding his own, so I guess that's <laughs> to be expected somewhat. <laughs> I'm gonna get another BFB right back. Oh my goodness, Anthony, using all of his speed and agility to get one over Wanger. Wanger out of it in the corner. Look at this from Ansi, feeding him into the turnbuckle. This is why they're the champions and the glorious ones. Got to be worried. Wanger cut off from the tag. Jimmy so frustrated. Oh, Ansi getting a little bit too overconfident there. Was never going to get Wanger up. And indeed, belly to back suplex puts him in his place. Oh, falling fist. Bust open Ansi. Smartly rolls to the outside, but he is in a bad, bad way. Giving himself a little bit of time to recover, but he could desperately do with the tag now that he's bleeding. And indeed, whips, uh, whips Wanger into the corner to make the tag. And there it is. To Scotty coming in to save his buddy and coming in in style. Oh, no. Oh, oh. no. 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 Oh, oh. God. You Wanger bust open Ansi, though, Jim. I don't know if you saw that. I didn't know, no, I just came back to that move. Absolutely brutal from De Scotty. It was. They they kind of need De Scotty to hang in there and get the win now, though. I think Ansi's in a, in a really, really bad way. Good. I mean, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful wrestling from Wanger. One of the greatest performances I've ever seen in the Glorious Ones last match was Wanger's. Oh, no! Send oh. pressure onto the cup even Look at the kick up! Wow. Look at the speed of Wanger! Oh, wow! And he's Where straight back on this top. from? Oh. No way! That is a man that wants to get to WrestleMania and will oh, do anything boy. to do it and he's going to tune up the man. Oh, let's flip and go. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good night. Has Ansi recovered? Oh, Jim's taunting. Oh. Ansi makes it! How the hell did he get there in time? <laughs> Two and nine tenths. I can't there believe it. was nothing up from this guy. Antsy with the breakup. Right on the stroke of three. Oh man, I can't believe it. So close to having the glorious ones at WrestleMania. That still may not be the case. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and to Scotty now, boyoed by the wonderful teamwork of Antsy taking it out of Wanger. No. Oh! oh! Wanger now bust open both the world champions, world tag team champions. <sighs> but he's getting double teamed again. He is, and Antsy's had a little bit of time to recover. Takes the head off of Wanger, cuts off the tag. Jim screaming for oh. the tag. Ha oh, ha! Oh. Mockery from Ansi. He might regret that later. <laughs> he might. But right now, he's loving it. it takes a lot of balls oh, no. to do that when you're oh. bleeding this Wanger much. Oh, my God. He might get him. He's Jimmy's got him. Not coming in. Jim's taunting. <laughs> Jim was just taunting. What an idiot. Wanger again left to make the kick out by himself. Just about doing it. Credit to him. Oh, my word. Oh, no, his wrist. Oh, Jim. Oh, God. I, I, I'll be honest, I know Wanger personally, and what, if one, if one body part he would like to get hit the least, the second worst is the wrist. <laughs> oh, the ref's down! The oh, ref's boy. down! <laughs> Wiped out by Wanger, he might be down for ages. Wanger up top, we don't see this very often. Boosh! Oh my goodness! Wow. Oh my goodness! Ref wow. has recovered just this in time to it. make a pin! This could be it! It is! They've done the it! Glorious one! Are going to WrestleMania! Glorious! 
Oh, I'm Table so happy. Table Langa has done it again, despite being bust open, despite being hit pillar to post and into 47 feet of concrete. <laughs> he has sent the glorious ones to WrestleMania for a shot at the World Tag Team Championship. Oh, amazing. Amazing. Jimmy Fantastic carried by Core. Now he's carried by Wanger. <laughs> <laughs> he's loving every minute. Uh, Jimmy did make a good start to the match, but yes, the uh, the last few minutes there were all Wanger, much like their last victory as well. <laughs> Wanger on absolute fire at the moment. Can he do it one more time at WrestleMania to reclaim the World Tag Team Championships with Jim? Yeah, that is that is the big question. So that is going to be an, an incredible eight man tables ladders and chairs match boy howdy that's going to be an absolutely incredible match isn't it for sure and speaking of boy howdy if you don't know the man the myth the legend gorilla mezzo is returning for one night only on the first night of wrestlemania that's going to be completely incredible there you go there's the cast wow. the youtube videos that is that is outstanding isn't it uh, that really is something yeah the uh the man that built the JFW from uh, the ground up, the voice of the JFW to, to most of us watching. Yeah, I can't believe he's going to be back. That is absolutely phenomenal. Truly magical WrestleMania moment in itself. <laughs> yeah. Right. Do you know what? I'm still feel uh, speaking of Gorilla Metso, I'm still feeling that slap from Will Smith. I wonder if he got trained by Gorilla Metso in his, uh, his his year out of the JFW, you know, the, the way of the slap. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah, it's a bit of a stinger still, but here we go. This is an amazing Plim Pom Pluserate match, by the way. Muppet Pac-Man versus Humorous Chimp. Of course, Muppet Pac-Man at the centre of the, the paternity... Uh, controversy. If he wins this match, he will be added to the match at WrestleMania instead of wow. potentially his dad Hancock, right? Who should be in that match? <laughs> yeah, might be replacing his uh, his dad Jim. Yeah, we'll we'll find out. Here he is, the man that nobody wants to claim him ownership to. <laughs> yeah. He's been left in the lost and found, but uh, much like the glorious ones, he can find his own way to WrestleMania if he could beat the champion. And as much as I love the Chim Jim, since he's become the champ, he just can't seem to pick up a win. That's true, yeah. I mean, he's a great champ, you know, don't get us wrong. Deserving champ. He, you know, he, he won he won the title fair and square. But, yeah, it looks a little bit dodgy, doesn't he? And, you know, we all know Muppet is absolutely one of the greatest of all time. He really is, yeah. Many said he was uh, the Plim Pom Pluserweight champion before Hancock came along. Uh, of course, others said it was the bread mask, but those two were the, the absolute uh, the all and end all of the Plim Pom Pluserweight division. Carried it for many years, gave us some incredible matches, and it would be amazing to see Muppets uh, get back into absolutely top form and add himself to this conundrum that is the modern day Plim Pom Pluserweight division. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, that's true. That humorous chimp is hard cleared as not the daddy. That is that is absolute <laughs> undisputed. Yeah, hard cleared, hard cleared himself. <laughs> I tell you who else could be Jim, Mr. E. Oh God, yeah. Who the hell is Mr. E? We still don't know. Going in a minute, we still e, yeah. don't know who Mr. E is. Locking up, uh, nicely done from Muppet. Great armbar. Chimp finds the reversal with the wrist lock. Going out. I think that uh, Chimp has a, a slight strength advantage in this one. <laughs> Uh, but a good hold overcomes strength any day, doesn't it? Technical wrestling beats power. It sure does. Oh yeah, that's okay. Help. He's on. He's on the daddy spectrum, just not Muppet Pac-Man. <laughs> Spinning heel kick from Muppet. He's come out firing. He's absolutely <laughs> determined. But a nice snap suplex from Chimp gets him back in control. Chimp might need this win as much as Muppet does. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't want to go into WrestleMania defending your title having managed absolutely no victories since first claiming the title a month earlier. No, it's not great, is it? Oh, oh Timberman. And yeah, that's true, Jack. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Oh, arm drag takedown by Chimp. Back and forth we go. Really nice so far from both men. Hard to say who's on top. Chimp trying now to dominate Muppet. 
He's certainly got the strength advantage, hasn't he? Oh, but Muppet does Muppet have with the, the speed, though, and the technical mm -hmm. wrestling. Mm -hmm. Answers it every time. And look at this. <laughs> Not lacking in strength. Incredible power bomb. And this is what we love for the Blue Blue's away. He goes oh, up to the top. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Top rope, double leg drop lands, and has he won his way into WrestleMania? Wow! wow. <laughs> Two and a half. Muppet with a lunatic bet on himself of six figures, amazing. Maybe he misclicked. Oh god, he's completely missed. <laughs> oh boy. Misclicked and missed his springboard crossbody. Chimp going for the win. No, just a one count. Needs something a bit more. Might need the Olympic slam. Muppet popping up. <laughs> oh boy! Oh wow! Chimp though, just uh, completely deflecting that drop kick. Really nice reactions. Oh, oh hanging Muppet out to dry. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Bessel. <laughs> oh, running power bomb into the corner. Running pass off into the middle of the ring. You don't see that normally from Chimp, but like we say, big strength advantage here. And he's using it really smartly. He is. But Muppet's got the heart, hasn't he? The heart of a champion. Oh, he will uh, He will fight till his very last breath to get to the WrestleMania card and have a shot at the Plum Plum Blues White Championship again. That is for sure. Uh, this, is, this is an amazing match booked by Jim McMahon tonight. Yeah, I do like that Jim McMahon guy. I'm not always such a fan, but I, I do like to give him credit when credit's due. Uh, you know, I don't get the chance very often. <laughs> wow, double underhook, uh, backbreaker by Chimp there, but an arm drag, making sure that Muppet isn't in trouble for too long, but then a fireman takedown from Chimp. Back and forth we go again. Amazing. Even match up here. Oh, the ref's down. Ooh. Ref's having a tough one tonight, Jim. Oh, yeah. I'd probably rather Clyde with Muppet Pankman than uh, Table Leg Wangen. <laughs> yep. Muppet placed on the top rope. Oh, boy. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's uh, dripping off Chimp. Chimp really uh, run out of stamina here, Jim. And Muppet's getting up. Muppet fights up, but caught just in time by Chimp. Got his breath. No, his back goes. Something's wrong with Chimp. Ooh. Oh, man, I hope he's not injured. That would be awful, wouldn't it? Before the, That would be absolutely Mania. horrific. Days before WrestleMania, Chimp's back's gone. He's run out of breath. He does kick out of the Hurricane Rana. I'm really, really worried about Chimp, Jim. Oh, it could dear. be seen the end of his title run for the worst reason. Oh, that would be a tragedy. <laughs> Not for Storm, <laughs> but for everybody else. Well, of course, if, if Chimp's back has gone and he's unable to beat Muppet, it isn't all good news for Storm. It means that he will have to face off and beat Muppet at the very least at WrestleMania. That's a very good point, yep. Oh, yep, he's still feeling it, isn't he, Mupp uh, Chimp? Oh, God. He really is, Jim. Oh, so six, he's really one, wrong, nine. and the 619, I think this is going to finish it. Boosh. I, I don't see how he kicks out of this. He seems really not right at all. Oh, and here's the snake. Chimps don't like snakes, Jim. <laughs> they, sure, they sure don't, do they? <laughs> this could be it. Oh. Oh. I, I think he's kicking out on instinct now. Kicking out with pride, maybe. But, but Chimps just done. Yep, yep. It's really struggling. Oh. Delaying the inevitable, going off on heart, doesn't want to shortchange the fans. What's the poop doesn't flinger? Oh my goodness, how has he managed that with his back? Oh man, this is the dream scenario for Storr if he gets the win here. No. Oh, <laughs> not sure. I'm not sure he put 100% into the poop flinger there, Jim. I'm not sure he got the full elevation. I'm not sure it's possible for him to. I don't think, I don't think Muppet kicks out of the poop flinger when executed perfectly. Yeah. Oh, here's, here's the three amigos. 
Maybe it's a tribute to one of one of his fathers, the three amigos, the Scousers. <laughs> <laughs> A tribute that none of them wants. <laughs> it's amazing what the Scousers don't regret, but they sure regret this. <laughs> yep. Power bomb again. Oh, That's got to be it. Look at that pin. Oh, what a pin. Ref took ages. It's already Ref two. Absolutely ages. Come on, Ref. That's outrageous. He did get wiped out by Muppet earlier. Maybe still a bit dizzy in the head. Oh, he's going for the back. He's going for a back submission, oh, Jim. Oh. Surely Chip has to tap. Oh, this is this is awful from... I mean, it's fair enough, right? But it's like, it's awful to see. Oh, dear. Oh, I, I felt the pain myself. I can't believe the heart of the champion that is humorous, Jim. How on earth has he powered out of that with a bad back? Oh, but he's counted here. Oh. Muppet counters again, though. Oh, no. <sighs> again. Just stay down, Chimp. Just stay down. Save whatever you've got left for WrestleMania, if you can even make it. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Oh. Landed again on the injured back. Stay down, Chimp. No. Oh. Kicking so out at two. Surely only reducing his chances at WrestleMania. Even if he were to find a way to win. If he's not physically able to compete with Storr, it's no good. Oh. He'd, he'd actually have... Oh, 619. Boosh. Right in the chops. Second 619 of the night. <laughs> and that's got to be it this time. He's got him, yep. It he's is. Got him. He's Muppet got him. Pac-Man. He's going to WrestleMania, but is humorous, Chip? Oh, man. Yep. Is, has there been an injury there? Who knows? But one thing we will know is that when WrestleMania is all, all said and done, when all the dust has settled, all the smoke has cleared, the millions and millions of Chimps fans are done screaming his name. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out who Muppet Pac-Man's dad is and Muppet might even win the Plim Pong Cruiserweight Championship on top of it. Wow, what, what a WrestleMania it's going to be for Muppet Pac-Man. Just imagine this scenario though, Jim. He, he wins the title and then the next pay-per-view has to defend it against his own father. Oh my God, yeah, that would be unbelievable, wouldn't it? And that could happen. That could absolutely happen. We've got no idea. We Well, it's one in three. It's a 33% chance, right? It, yeah, absolutely. If Scott Stein has, ta has taught me anything, <laughs> that's, that's what it is. <laughs> and, uh, Jim, I'm losing track of who we do and don't know Mr. E is. I, I don't, we've eliminated live games for sure. I don't think we've eliminated Clavius or Rick yet. So I always say if this match goes ahead, because I'm always half expecting someone to jump Mr. E. But if this match goes ahead, we, that's another two wrestlers off the roster that Mr. E can't be. Yeah, it's really, we're running out wrestlers who, could, well, I mean, top level talents, right? He's the world champion. He's been a dominant world champion. There's only so many top level talents who it could be. And it's, you know, who knows? Maybe it was a, a trick by J5, you know, like getting Sata to come out as Mr. E so he could attack him. Like, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Well, who you, you could say that of almost anybody, couldn't you? Maybe, yeah, like that. There, there, there could be two wrestlers, like switching back and forth. Yeah. You know, tricking us all. Maybe the people we think we've eliminated haven't been eliminated. But I, you know, I, I've got to believe that uh, it's it's none of the wrestlers we've seen Mister E with. Otherwise, my confusion is just too great for me to handle. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, here we go. Muppet winning all the belts. Was that a commission? <laughs> like the Triple H Photoshop. <laughs> oh, that'd actually be brilliant. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. I'll definitely do that. Glorious. Well, this was dastardly from Jim's man to book this match, wasn't it, Jim? Mm. Yeah, really, really tough for it. I mean, tough for everybody, though, right? They've all got to try and coexist. They've, they've, they want to win, but they don't want to help their partner. They want the partner to take as much punishment as possible. <laughs> it's, it's a. Uh, yeah, it's do, a wild do you break one. up any submissions? Do you, do you <laughs> tag in? Like, there's a lot of question marks hanging over this match. Absolutely. 
Mr. Page. It could be a new wrestler you've never seen before. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. That would actually be pretty brilliant, wouldn't it? It could be Jack Bull. You know, there's a lot you can do with disguises. <laughs> Flip me. It could still be Muppet, right? But I mean, who knows? We can probably rule out Chimp. But, uh, things he probably wouldn't be able to move like this with his with his injured back. Uh, yeah, good shout, Jim. Unless he's faking it. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he's just playing possum, trying to get any advantage he can. Excuses his loss. You know, maybe he's scared of Storm. Wants to make it a triple threat to give him more chance. Who knows? Is Clavius looking pretty serious? Well, he is. He knows he's uh, got the match of his life. Coming up at WrestleMania, but uh, he also, you know what, Jim? I just, I, I, he's too good of a man. He's too honourable to uh, to throw this match tonight. To throw mystery under the bus. I think we're going to see a good match from Clovis. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Whereas mystery, I've got no idea. He might be the most honourable man in the JFW, and he might perform wonderfully, or he might be the most dastardly. He might be one of the Scousers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we just don't know. We haven't seen Fugonomics for a while. Maybe it's Fugger. Who knows? What I do know is, whoever it is, uh, you know, I, uh, surely it's got to be revealed eventually. Maybe at WrestleMania, who knows? I can only hope, Jim. It's driving me crazy. Yeah, me too. It's driving me nuts. Who's Muppet's dad? Who's Mr. E? I, really, I, I've never been one for murder mysteries. <laughs> Flip it, tell me. Let's find out. <laughs> no, dear. Right, I shall be right back. What a glorious entrance this is, though, from Rick, the EAB champion. And it looks like we're going to start with Rick versus Mr. E as the first two competitors. Champion versus champion. That will be glorious. Wow, yeah. What a, what a kickoff to WrestleMania that is. Thankfully, Rick moving well on his entrance here. Doesn't look like the blows of James McMahon have done too much permanent damage. They haven't ruined this match. They haven't ruined WrestleMania. And the fans are getting more behind him again now. That's nice to see. Now... Can Rick coexist with this man? A dastardly Goliath Games. He's been stalking Rick at his title for months, trying to take what's rightfully Rick's. Rick's had to hold on to it by hook or by crook, leading some people to dislike him as a champion, but uh, he's really been given no choice. Goliath Games counted out fair and square at Hamageddon. Let down by his team at Survivor Series. How many shots does a guy deserve? Honestly. I don't care if he won the Rumble. I can't believe Jens McMahon is letting him fight for the extra arms belt title at WrestleMania. <laughs> fair, fair point, Muppet. Fair point. And, and at least this guy... You know this guy isn't your dad. So, so you can... Uh, you can sit there lustfully <laughs> without concern that it's wrong. It, it sure has Gilmatronics, it sure has. To give Goliath Games his due, he has ripped through every single big man in the JFW as if they weren't even there. He did earn his title shot at Hamageddon and then some, but uh, I don't know. He's just not in Rick's league. Who, who do you want as the face of JFW? Rick Reckless and the Quad Skulls or, or this guy? Absolutely, White Tricks. It's a travesty. Goliath's Muppet's son. <laughs> oh, dude. Wow. Goliath's amazing. 
<laughs> yeah, Goliath. On average, Goliath makes uh, 17 women in the audience pregnant with his entrance. <laughs> <laughs> Word, look at this from Mr. E, world champion for a reason. Rick not expecting that. Boy, how have we blitzed him? Right, Rick finally got his uh, whereabouts together. Shoulder tackle takedown. Benches the arm. Oof, inverted oh atomic drop. I'd rather take a regular atomic drop than an inverted one, I tell you. <laughs> yep. I think we can all agree on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Rick! Oh, Rick under the middle rope. Yeah. Oh, nice. Interesting. Knee to the back of Mr. E with Venom. <laughs> Again. A humorous chimp. Oh, atomic drop. Again. <laughs> Grab him by the sack. Rick, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Rick auditioning to be the third member of CBT if he loses the title this week. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> Go on for that. Well, Goliath Games made the tag to Rick. Fair play to him. That's pretty honourable. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's honourable. I mean, Rick put in Goliath to take the punishment instead of himself. Goliath accepted the tag. What's this move from <laughs> Mr. Rick? What a lunatic. But <laughs> Mr. E deciding he isn't the legal man. The ref said, no, you flip it off. Get it back in the ring. <laughs> <sighs> to which he replies, no, I'm flipping not. <laughs> <laughs> yep. See you later. Flavius, <laughs> as expected, keeping the wrestling code, making the tag. Yep. Life game is struggling a bit, but will Rick tag him if he manages to get over? <laughs> Rick, pretty determined <laughs> to not allow Goliath Games to get over. Yeah. I mean, this, these guys still want to win, don't they? They're, that's the thing. They're uh, oh, wow, what a move! Wow. Oh, credit to Clavius for that kick out. Well, it makes sense to just lie down and get pinned instantly. Um, <laughs> you know, just conserve your energy. Seeing as it's a completely pointless match, you do want your tag team partner to take more damage, don't you? And you, you know, they just naturally just want to win. These guys are competitive fellas, aren't they? Chances, they are. Challenges. It's true. Oof. The last thing we want belt. is taking a loss before WrestleMania. Belt, I can't can't add to your reputation, can it? The belt, if uh, if you have no reputation for it to add to. Exactly. Oof. And I, I guess they're trying to point prove a point to each other as well, right? Like Rick right now saying, "Look, Goliath Games, this is what I can do. I'm better than you are." Yeah, yeah. Very good stuff. And he is actually doing a bit of a number here on Clavius. Yeah. J I'm going to say J5, not J5, of course. Mr. E looking desperate to get into the ring there. <laughs> Definitely not J5. That's the one person. No, there's a few people we know it isn't. But we're pretty certain it's also not J5. <laughs> Oh Despite my word! Doing it last time. Great move from Rick, but Clavius not phased by it. Yeah, nice desperation reversal by Clavius there. Straight to the tag. That is a smartness that we don't always see in tag team wrestling. Too many people finally getting the reversal and then staying in the ring, losing their chance to tag. Not from Clavius. Really, really good ring awareness. Yeah, and these are not only singles wrestlers, they're singles wrestlers in a rivalry with each other. So, yeah, incredible tag. Credit to Mr. E. Did take the tag. Yeah. Thought he might have been enjoying the uh, the punishment of Clavius. Rick to the top again. Oh. Is this a flip me, guys? It sure is. Oh. Woo. Life games in to take out Clavius. You got him. You got him. Oh. Mr. E kicked out. Clavius, though, wiped out my life games. <laughs> Unbelievable. Could be it, Jimmy could tap. No one there to save him. It can't be Muppet's dad because Mr. E came back. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, wow. 
What a move. Oh wow, Mr. E going crazy. I, oh, I thought he was doing the oh, poop Robert flinger, but it's just a roll. taking ages to get down. He's got him! He's oh. Got, oh my goodness! With the one, the ref wouldn't count him! The oh ref refused to count! God! It's a disgrace, isn't it? The fix is in. Wow! The ref paid off by the quad skulls, I suppose. Or, or I don't know. I'm only guessing. Yeah, I think you're spot on the money there, Rick. They've been well proven to be devious, underhanded cheaters, and this solidifies their reputation. Do you know if any of Quad Skulls are Spanish out of interest? Just, just, just asking. No real, no real reason. <laughs> <laughs> not, uh, not yet confirmed or completely eliminated. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm not sure Mr. E could be the uh, the champion of uh, Muppet Gym because uh, he knows to put something on it to wrap it up. <laughs> That's a good point, yeah. <laughs> El, El Yod does sound like a Spanish name. <laughs> <laughs> I believe he was in Star Trek, wasn't he, in the, uh, in the Spanish dub? <laughs> oh, look at this, you're Clavius on Glove Games. Oh, my goodness. Vintage Clavius. Oh. Whoa, his arm disappeared and stuff then, but never mind. Oh, God, what's wrong with his arm? Oh, God, I think he's hurt his arm. Oh, no! <laughs> All these injuries before WrestleMania, it's ruining the show. Yeah, unbelievable. Oh, maybe he's corrected it on, on Goliath's head. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Oof. Wow. Two counter, no Rick to be seen. Yeah, very okay, yeah, Clavius no longer holding his arm limply. I think it was just uh, kind of deadened for a moment. Got yeah. a dead arm. It's recovered now. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my, my goodness. God. Can the ring even hold him? It can. Oh, boy. Howdy. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Clavius. No. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh my goodness. He's dead. Oh, he's loving it. <laughs> Find a new contender for the World Championship. No, he's back on his feet. Oh, no. Oh. Counter from Clavius. How is he finding anything? Misses with the right hand. Goes to the neck breaker though. Oh, Gets it. In rolls it in. Oh, Rick came out wow. trying to win. Rick coming in the ring, then going out. Mr. Rick coming in, then going out. Clavius going out, then coming in. What is going on, Jim? What a weird match. Mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> oh, you are the false sensitive Spanish leprechaun. <laughs> There you go, Elliot. <laughs> oh my goodness, Jim. Surely Clavius can't pull this off. Mm. No. No. Oh my god. No. Top row oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Never seen that before. That's unbelievable. <laughs> Look at what it's taken out of Clavius. He's as hurt as Goliath. Well, maybe not as hurt as Goliath Gaze. It took him a long time to pin, but that really could be oh, it. Howdy. What Mystery. a maneuver. Oh, he got lost. Oh, Rick broke it up. <laughs> the question of would Rick break up a pin or submission is answered. He did. Oh, boy. And now Goliath Gaze fights back, somehow finding life after one of the most devastating maneuvers we've ever seen in the JFW. And Clavius fights back. Oh man, what a match. Well, what what do you expect from the four premier wrestlers right now in the JFW, I suppose? That's a very good... Rick saving Goliath <laughs> Games! Oh wow! What is this? Rick, what are you doing? Oh, Let man. him die! Oh, counted! Why would he save Goliath Games, Jim? I, I don't know. <laughs> no, he's thinking better of it now, I think. Oh, oh was a punishing suplex. He did just walk by and let him suplex him onto the 47 feet of concrete, <laughs> but now, now Rick's saying enough's enough. Oh, oh, oh. devastating. Throws him back in the ring, though, no count out. He doesn't want to make it that easy for Goliath. Well, he still wants the Goliath to be punished. Say no count out, Jim. We're oh. up to eight. Oof, oh. Clavius completely <laughs> cuts on the outside. Goliath Games somehow fighting on. Could really do with tagging Rick if Rick will take the tag. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, flying knee! Glad case pops up! <laughs> and again! And again! And then Cal and then tosses <laughs> off the drop kick. The live game's an unstoppable force in the oh JFW. How is Rick supposed to beat this at Hell in a Cell at WrestleMania? How is anybody supposed to beat this? What an absolute monster. Nobody has, is the thing. Nobody's yeah. being live games one on one in over a year. It's Rick incredible. really has only managed to, uh, to to lie, cheat, and steal his way out of it. The matches with him, really. Yep. But you know, and I credit him for the intelligence that he's taken to do that. Oh my Ooh. goodness, this is done. Boosh. Good night. Is Rick coming in? No, Clavius is. Oh, Clavius oh. saved it. <laughs> Clavius. Oh. <laughs> Looked what? unconscious. What the hell? That's a oh, oh, busted, busted open. open. Life case busted open before WrestleMania and... Oh. Clavy just slithered in at the last second. Unbelievable. Absolutely amazing. Mr. Ego to the top. What a man. <laughs> oh, Life oh. Games. No, Mr. E. Oh. oh, he's got him. <laughs> Holy moly. Oh. Bad timing for a Goliath Games, it's cost him so big. Wow. Desperately needs a tag. It doesn't look like Rick is reaching out his hand though. It sure doesn't. Shake, oh. rattle and roll. <laughs> if Rick decides that this is over, then it's over. There's no getting out of this for Goliath Games. Boosh. That's surely got to be it, unless Rick makes the say, Oh God, here we go, top row B. All the raw wow. bees in uh, 2K22, wow. but wow, there we go. Rick's got to come Rick's in to save this. But there's Clavius! Oh, oh by Clavius! Goliath what the hell? Wow. How the hell did Goliath kick out of that? There's just no beating Goliath Games. He's an absolute machine. That's insane. Oh, an Olympic slam from Clavius. Wow, ripping off uh, humorous Jim. Look at the blood on Goliath Games. How is he supposed to be? At top form for WrestleMania, Jim. <laughs> Looks in that like position. he's been shot. <laughs> and he's about to be shot again. Shot to the heart. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh. And there's no Rick oh, this that's time. Gotta that's got to be it. It's got to be it. Good night. What? Oh, my goodness. No what? way. <laughs> no way. First of all, who the hell is Mr. E? And second of all, what has he got under that helmet? Like, does he have a helmet under this bag? That's This is unbelievable. Yeah, he could have something strapped to his forehead, couldn't he? Yeah. I knew a guy that had something strapped to his forehead, but we, we really don't want to talk about that. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Goliath Christ. <laughs> Fighting back somehow. Look at the condition he's in. How? How is he fighting back? <laughs> Look at the anger on Goliath Gaze's face. I don't think I've ever seen him this bad. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Look at this from Goliath. He's, he's going for it. Oh, and again. Again, the splash. He's calling for it, saying it's over. There's oh. the earthquake. He's. Oh, but he was pinning him, wasn't he? Oh, dear. What the shambles. Rick versus Clavius. Clavius is right Rick there. Rick doesn't get there. Let's take out Clavius, though. I think Goliath took a swing at Rick there, but missed. It did look like it. Yeah, I thought he was going to catch him on the back of the head. Yeah. Clavius down. Mr. E down. Ooh. How this is even still going, I have no idea. I mean, these are the best of the best. Clavius recovered. Wow, credit to him. Why has Goliath Games not tried to tag Rick? It's just, it's just the pain, isn't it? The pain and the blood. It's just he's seeing red. He doesn't want to tag. He doesn't want any strategy. Well, I think, I think there's just... an element of pride as well and disdain for Rick, but he's, he's making a huge mistake, Jim. He's, yep. he's just weakening himself for his biggest night of his life. Yep, that's true. Oh, he's being... Reversed! Being reversed here. Oh, sent oh. back into the outside of the ring. And there's no Rick there to help this time. Oh, God. And 47 feet of concrete. Oh! 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 Life reverses! Oh, my goodness! 
Oh my goodness! Where's he going? Oh, his back's given Oh, his out. back's gone! His back's gone as well! Oh man! What a devastating kick! We've only got half a card for WrestleMania! <laughs> oh, he falls to the ground! Oh, and Clavius! Oh. Clavius! Oh my He's god! He's not legal! He's not legal! Oh my god! It's Clavius! Over. With oh, a chip Mr. A. But Clavius doesn't want to win like a Clavius mystery doesn't want to win like that. He's made it. It's Rick. Oh my god. This Rick made insane. the tag. How did my mystery take it down by the flying oh knee? Oh my god, what a knee. Rick made the tag. What a match this is. Well, if this is anything to go by what the two main events of WrestleMania are going to be. <laughs> We're, we're in for the greatest show there has ever been. Let's flipping hope so. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What a match. I don't think we're going to see Goliath Games tonight again, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's done, isn't he? He's got to be done. In the ring forever. Took multiple finishes, bleeding profusely. Rick, though, fighting back oh. single-handedly. Now it's effectively a handicap match. Yep. Oh no. Oh Rick. Oh no. Rick pops up. <laughs> Spinning nice back stuff. elbow. Needs a breathe though. And actually, not sure he's ready to go yet, but this is Goliath Games. He's up. Oh boy. Time for a flip me. No. Yes. Oh, oh what a move. <laughs> Wanna move? Flip me, guys. But yeah, Goliath's gonna be so slow now. But no, he was fast. Still oh, couldn't get there. Nearly, nearly made it. Countered by Clavius, though. Oh no, Goliath Games. Coming out worse. <laughs> Again, his head, his bleeding head, smashed into the turnbuckle. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> God. Good job, Rick. Currently dominating Mr. E. There is no help coming. Oh, oh no! Mr. E counters! Rick down! Goliath Games down! What is he doing? Look at Goliath Games dragging himself to the ropes with the very last ounces of energy. Mr. E misses! Oh, Mr. E misses wildness. again! Miss you can't see out the bag, Jim. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Temporarily he blinded. He tried to tag, but he was going to the wrong corner. He really can't see. The bag slipped over his eyes. I guess we can rule out PC then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Indeed, oh, look at his the other sense is not heightened enough. <laughs> Goliath really feeling it on the outside there. Oh, a counter from Mr. E. And the speed. Oh, catches him. Fisherman oh. suplex holds on. Incredible. Clavis is hanging on the end. Oh, man, this is wild. Rick with the counter. Wow. How these guys are going at it like they've just started a singles match. After 20 minutes of deadly back and forth, I have no idea. <laughs> this has been an absolutely wild one. Really? Nice. Live game back in the ring. I don't think this is a good idea as far as winning this match is concerned. I think it's a great <laughs> idea as far as Rick at WrestleMania is concerned. <laughs> yep. Yep. Great shot from. Great call from Rick. On a Side suplex. On a purely selfish uh, level. That was great. I mean, Goliath just looks like he's been shot by a shotgun, doesn't he? This is horrendous. He, oh, I, I can hardly look at him, Jim. <laughs> Just imagine that being the face of the JFW. The, the company's going to go under if he wins at WrestleMania. <laughs> oh, God, he's, st he's still loving it, though. Oh, he's oh, caught him! He him! Oh. I can't believe what I just saw! Oh, my God. I don't know the jokes love. Oh, I can't believe he caught him! I've never seen that before. Just I've caught him like a baby. Seen that and there's this the choke slam. And this has got to be it! Rick's there! Oh, oh no! <laughs> slipped underneath and took out the ramp! Wow! Wow! <laughs> what the hell? 
What the hell is this match? It's just unbelievable. This is the four greatest wrestlers in the JFW today showing why they deserve their spot this weekend is what this is. Yeah, yeah, we shouldn't be surprised to be fair. It's but it's wow, it's still amazing. Oh, Glass Games was gonna oh. take him sky high and he catches it! Shake it's a run. shake! Rattle and roll! Does oh. Rick break this up? Because <laughs> if he doesn't, it's done. Oh my word, what are you doing, Mr. Rick? <laughs> Finish him! God damn it! Dimmy? <laughs> that looked a lot like Dimmy's celebration there, Jim. It did, yeah. Maybe it's Dimmy. Oh, man. It does look a bit like Dimmy now that I think about it. Oh, imagine if Dimmy's had two fights in one night and is producing this in the second one. Oh, my goodness. What's Clavius doing? He's running around. <gasps> oh, if he'd gone directly, he would have saved the Rick day. Then. Yeah. Definitely could have got to Rick. But mm. look what he's doing to Rick now. Oh, Goliath game just busted open mystery. I oh saved my Rick. God, well, it saved him. He oh, got dropped on his no, head. No, he flipping clocked him. He wiped <laughs> Rick out. He wiped out all three men. He oh wiped out God. all three men. The life games dustily planned coming together. <laughs> the evil force of the JFW sidewalk slam. Holy moly. He Holy doesn't even want to finish moly. it. After half an hour. Of the highest octane wrestling you'll ever see in the JFW. Oh, now he does. <laughs> the live games proving a point here tonight. Oh my god. There is nobody in his league in the JFW. And he's done it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What a performance! <laughs> like, especially from Goliath. Holy moly. But from everyone, what a main event. But incredible timing for Goliath Gaze. Picking his moment till he didn't need him anymore to wipe out Rick Reckless to take a huge shot at his uh, at his rival on the weekend. Rick might, might be devastatingly injured. Yeah, he really might. Like, all the credit in the world to, to Goliath there. He beat off three men at the same time. Absolutely unbelievable. You know, we just haven't we just haven't seen that sort of thing, you know, in the JFW very often, have we? That sort of that sort of night is very rare. I mean, maybe you'd expect him. I, I can't even say it. I was gonna do a thing, <laughs> but I'm not even gonna do it. <laughs> uh, how he look at though, look at the face of Goliath games. Unbelievable. His, his face is covered in, in bodily fluids. He's just beaten off three men. You wouldn't see this kind of thing except from, like, you know, maybe Jada Smith. <laughs> wow. Oh, boy. If anything has ever teed up the perfect WrestleMania, what a Monday Night Claw. See you, everybody, in five days' time. Woo! <laughs> Thanks very much, Rick. Absolutely amazing, as always. Glorious. <laughs> and thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.